What's going on guys? Graydon here, Last Pack Magic Channel. I found some blaster boxes, Marvel Platinum. I'm gonna open up with my homeboy, Lewis. See what we got, lots of numbered hits in these, blue surges, nothing but fun to have in these boxes. They're super accessible. They're all over the place. They're a great price point. Let's see what we got. We'll open up four of these and hope for the best. Swing for the fence. Enjoy guys, hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content. What's going on everybody out there on the internet? We got Graydon here, Last Pack Magic Channel. I'm here with my friend Lewis. How you doing, Lewis? What up, baby? How you doing? Oh, I'm so pumped to uh, have found some of these platinum blasters that you and me are gonna tear open here. Have you opened much of this? Dude, I've ripped like 20 blasters. Oh my God. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, bro. Uh, wait, no, wait, let me see. Um, <laughs> 20 and I still got four coming. I broke the other day and I bought four. And so yeah, 24, the blasters have been great, man. I'll be honest with you. Um, before the blasters, I think I ripped like five or six boxes. I think Love it was, it. yeah, cause I ripped three. I ripped three myself. My boy, uh, Casa Soul ripped two for me. And then Fausto ripped one. So a total of six. If I would have known that, bro, I would have put the, the funds of those six boxes, just put them all in the blasters. Dude, I just, I was just having this conversation. And first of all, Luis Alonso doesn't put up rookie numbers on anything. So the fact that you did 20 blasters doesn't surprise me at all. Um, but these blasters are crazy good. Like, I, I, I agree with you. I would have I just bought blasters had I known yeah. they were going to be this good. 20 bucks? Like, anybody can go hard on it. And, and, and I think what's very, very nice about the blasters, besides the chance of pulling, like, the big shit, cards like the big hits low number it's the blue surge parallel it's the best parallel of the set so i want to talk about that um i think that's facts here i think that's like that's straight up aside from like maybe the out of tens and the out of fives and the goal one ones like it's yeah. it's up there among you know top three or four parallel in the set for sure they're fire um, and and it's and they're very accessible they're in like every pack of the blaster. Like you, you, there, there is absolutely there's no numbering on them. There's no limited factor for anybody. Yeah, sure. I'm going to be putting together. So I've got a binder set going of this. I've got a base set. I've got the uh, cover variants, and these are going to be another item I put in this binder because how can you not? They're accessible, like you were saying. There's more of them than the red supernovas that were in beginnings. Like they're awesome. Stunning, bro. You get four blasters. It's fun. I love it. Um, let's uh, let's switch screens here. Let's rip these out. Let's have a chat and let's open these up. See what's going on. Let's do it, bro. So today I went for a I went for a haircut, and it's my where I get a haircut it's across the street from uh, Walmart. And I checked the Walmart like steady here where I live, and no one collects Marvel cards here. So basically, when there's blasters, they're mine, you know. And oh, that's, uh, today that's good. today was that's a good today was going to be in. Hell yeah. You know, I live in an oil field town. Ain't nobody on the oil rigs are collecting Marvel cards, uh, except for me and pull that on jacket. But uh, it's kind of funny because I've looked like probably 10 times. Without exaggeration, I've probably looked 10 times. And today was the first day I found them. I did a little video about, me, about the discovery moment. It was awesome. That's sick. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's so. always it's always exciting when you go to the card aisle and you find the stuff that you're looking for, especially the stuff that you know, you know, sells fast. I saw something black back there, bro. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's, 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 let's so Mary see, Jane, you flashed a little a little black border. To, oh, and boy, I've been really? noticing that the black parallels are pretty easy to hit in the blasters. They're a lot easier to hit in a blaster. Cause you only get one in a whole booster box. Let's see. Oh, oh that's shit, I gosh. think that's what I saw. Yeah, that's what I saw too. The platinum um, moves. But just going Third. just going here, I mean, like I hit I hit three of these in four boxes of hobby. Yeah. Like these blasters, the only thing that I have not seen in a blaster so far is printing plate. I haven't seen a printing plate. I haven't seen the orange checkered. Yeah, that's true too. And I don't think I've seen a sketch out of a blaster. 
Uh, good point, sorry, I totally, I forgot there were even sketches in this, they're so rare. But um, on the topic of uh, printing plates, my God, Lewis, you hit the biggest plate in the damn set on True Blue Collectibles. Shout out to <laughs> Nathan, bro. Yo, that shit was <laughs> oh. crazy. I was like in the middle of doing something right, and I'm just here, and I see him hit. I'm like, no way, bro. I geeked out. I dropped what I had in my hand. I had to pick it up. It was... Uh, I lost my mind watching it. I was so excited for you because I know you're a huge Spider-Man collector. It's such a difficult character co to collect. He's and a then pain in the ass to collect. And Moon Knight seems to be like trending in that direction, bro. There's a lot of people collecting Moon Knight, you know. There and are. It's great. He's a great character. So it just, yeah, it's exciting, but it's also a challenge, man. You know, like you want to see other people collect and enjoy the character that you collect but you also but when you do that as well now you've got you know a few you know you got some co a little bit of competition in that character you know what i mean so i mean with a tv cool. show out there with a card set that came out that was moon knight centric um it definitely builds that competition like you're saying yeah it's just a good character he's finally mm -hmm. getting the love he deserves man you feel me a very well drawn character too gets a lot of love. Yeah, there you go. Dazzle, dude. This is these blasters are crazy. I, I think I actually hit this in a hobby. Yeah. Um, something I was talking to a friend about uh, recently was I think that this set has me the most excited about hitting uh, omegas and alphas. I uh, I love hitting them in these sets because some of the numbers are so big that when you do hit one, it's like out of seven ninety nine, you hit the omega or the alpha. That's a big card. That's it's a tough hit. It's a tough hit for sure. It's a very cool one to hit. So yeah, man, the whole print the, that break was that was probably one of the best uh, platinum overall platinum cases I've seen. I've seen quite a few get ripped, but that that the one Nathan ripped was a very good case across the board. A lot of good, a lot of good cards. You know, when you awesome. go into these breaks, man, like you hope to hit something crazy, right? But you're not expecting to hit anything crazy. And You're then not. when you hit something cool, it's just a good feeling. Oh, just speaking of them, there you go. Snap, red rainbow. Nasty. Oh, I love it. You got this one? Yeah, I got that one. Yeah, yep, yep. I got a pile going for a lot of people. It's hard to keep up. But yeah. um, that, that was a very good break. In Fuller's break, I hit the art variant red auto. Oh, I remember that. The, kid, the creator variant. Dude, I was sick. still mic'd up when I went in to tell my wife. I was like, I just hit the car to the case. I know. We were laughing. We're like, yo, he's like a little kid. Right? Dude, when I pulled the AF15 cut on Justin's channel, after we were looking, I was like, yo, bro, I got to go run and tell my wife, bro. Like yeah, a little right. kid, bro. Like, you want to go run and tell her, hey, look what I hit. Look what I oh, hit. Oh, man. Because I went inside for a cigar. I went to go get a Cuban and because I was super pumped. I knew it was, I knew the odds were one in four, I think 420 or 400. And uh, yeah, my character cool. in Fuller's stream, man, I was losing my mind. I was loving yeah. it. No, the character breaks have been great, man. They've they've been doing they've been, they've been doing the the character collectors justice, man. It's just it's the best way. I think moving forward, it's going to be the standard now, especially 100%. for these big sets with a lot of characters in them. You know, I'm surprised that beginnings and sets like that and like annual don't get their shit together and like do these breaks. And like you're saying. This is definitely a wave of the future. Everyone wants this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like... I feel like the set has to have some kind of premium to it, like some kind of vibe that, right. that, that makes it, you know, like that desirable. You know what I mean? Oh, I think I, I love what you're saying here. So that's to say that these inserts are worth it like people were worried about how many inserts there are with, with annual like you like with annual there's not enough juice yeah i for, feel you for it to be worth it like now i think the more premium the set i think the more important character like the character breaks are going to be you right. know yeah like think about it with masterpieces now with the care like if you did a case of Marvel Masterpiece, you could really do a fun break with a full case. So, you know what I mean? For sure. So I kind of I mean, wish we would have done that more. Well, the, I was about to say that the, the trend on whatnot is to be um, buying packs, right? Yes, so from correct. The break, from the breaker's point of view, that's what's up. And I, I get yeah. that. But Premiere 
with the premiere, they were selling character breaks. They were selling top sketch card and then single sketch card spots. And they were doing quite well. Some of my friends, like my boy Jake, um, did yeah. really oh, snap. oh, there you go. It looks Bro. centered pretty decently centered, too. Oh my god, that's a nice card. Actually, it's horribly centered, to be honest with you. Is it really? Absolutely. It's oh, shit. Your finger was covering it, and I, you had it at an angle, and I'm looking at it at an angle. I'm like, is that centered? <laughs> We're honest not over bad, here. Though. We're honest it's over here. Bad. You know what I mean? But uh, no, there's a rainbow. But now the character breaks have been fun, man. I think moving forward, um, I think you're going to see it from a lot of a lot of sets. I'm going to, I'm excited. I want to do one, man. So I think I'm going to try to. Maybe wait for Avengers Metal or something like that and do... I know I'm going to definitely try to do an Avengers Metal character case break. I think that'll be exciting. I want to uh, I want to communicate with you guys about Avengers Metal because I wasn't excited about it for a little while there. I was like, oh, great, another another yeah. metal set. And now I'm finding myself, like, really looking forward to it. I don't know what happened, but, like, a switch just went off in my mind where I'm like... like I'm excited I'm for it. I think it'll be fun, but, like... I, I'm very cautious moving forward with pretty much every Marvel set that comes out. Like on a case sense? break, like, like on a case break, I don't mind throwing, <clears throat> you know, some bread at a case break, chasing the character that I want, right? Like, I don't yeah. mind that. But as far as like the days of ripping tons of cases, like at least for me, like those days are, are long gone. Those days are long gone, yeah. 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 Um, does that include masterpieces? Uh, I think masterpieces. I opened. I've got them all empty right next to. Me. I think I ripped like. I know I ripped two full cases, and I think like six to eight loose boxes. So about like thirty boxes in total. Amazing, Maybe a little man. over. When but you the were main streaming. reason I did that, though, uh, to be honest is I had, you know, a bunch of paintings from the set that I owned already. So it was something new for me, right? Like being able to own original art and then be able to chase the cards that yeah. that original art, you know. Dude, you're a monster it, collector. I love it. Like that, that was monster. that was the funnest part of it, to be honest with you, man. It wasn't even really like I didn't give a shit if I pulled a base card of of, of a of one of the pieces that I own, like that shit was exciting for me, dude. You know, and I watched you pull the auto, dude. The watching you pull that green auto was oh crazy. my god, that thing's dude. insane. That was like uh, that, like that was that was that those 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 type of those type of pulls are few and far in between, bro. Like you, like those opportunities come very rarely being able to open up a box and hit a card of that magnitude and to ma oh but dude you're on fire bro dude, you're on smart. fire man. you need to become a spider-man collector bro oh man you know what i've never told anyone my secret collection i have all the one of one spider no, i'm just kidding i'm completely kidding but uh oh this guy the leader so the, yeah you know dude it was exciting it was it was definitely an experience that i've never had yeah. To be able to chase the cards. Yeah, it, it was definitely fun, but like I don't know, dude. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm just so focused on the original art right now, Grant. And I don't and I don't wanna like sound like I'm just hyping it and shit, but it's really what I'm after. It's really what I'm well, into. It's really what I'm collecting, you know? You, you know, it's so funny that people have been talking about this hype with original art. Like people haven't been collecting paintings since the Renaissance. You know, you know yeah, what I bro, mean. Like, like yeah. having a having a like yourself, you're an artist. You're doing these beautiful oil painted sketch cards. I'm not sure what other art you do, but I can imagine that this isn't the first time you've ever done art. And collecting art is the most human thing that has ever existed. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. It's it's something I enjoy. I like. You know, I, I like the art. You know, once you start owning pieces. You know publications that you're you have some kind of connection with that you really enjoy um it, it's special man it's it, it, you, you don't know until you own it it's pretty much it's the way i tell people you can't understand art until you own it when you what, own what, what like you can what's up so keep, keep going keep going keep going you can't understand no, no, it until you, you own it you're absolutely right you can't really appreciate it until you own some of it you know 
you know, what was your first um, piece of original art that uh, was on that was uh, published card art? The very first piece that I got, um, it was actually a piece that I acquired. I'd say probably like a, like a couple months before I got in, you know, before Dan's uh, art event, the VIP event. Yeah. Uh, it was literally, it was in January. It was a piece. I had already purchased it, like, a, I think like a couple months prior to the event. But uh, shout out to Simona Biagi, shout out to Matt Dottillo. I got my Black Panther piece that ended up being in the Midnight Suns. Um, that was the first published original art piece that I purchased. Really? And then right, a- right after that, I got, um, I started, I picked up pieces from Dan set. And then shortly right out, like literally shortly right after Dan, um, you know, I was able, I was fortunate to build a good relationship up with Ian Gist. And, you know, we, you know, became homies. We, you know, homie helped me out, you know, when I started, when I started deciding I wanted to paint. I just was a big fan of his artwork for, for a, you know, a couple of years. Uh, and then just built that relationship up with him, man. I, you know, started buying my first couple pieces from him shortly after. Yeah. Um, but my first piece was my Black Panther piece by Simone, um, uh, which was the, the Black Panther in uh, Midnight Suns. And Amazing. I didn't even know what set it was going to be in. I didn't know. Yeah. Interesting. All, I, all I was told is this was commissioned by Upper Deck. It's going to be in a card set. We don't know what set it's going to be. So, yeah, you know, I, you don't know until you until you find out. Oh shit! Someone just pulled your card in a set. No, oh, nah. You know that's how you kind of know. You know. It's it's so interesting to me about the whole concept of original art. Um, for myself, I spent 15 years um, painting uh, in street art. And I had access to every artist you could imagine because I spent so much time with them, traveling Europe, America, doing things in Canada, and I got to I got to hold in hand so many pieces by amazing street artists. And when I got to hold it, it influenced my own work because I got to see their process. So having having those paintings in your collection. So you ever just look at these paintings and you're like, oh my God, I understand what they did there. Like that's such a smart little, it's amazing. I, I right? love, I love looking at my paintings on the walls, bro. When I walk into my office, I, I sometimes just catch myself just sitting in my office, just looking at the shit on the wall. It's, yeah. It, it's it, I, again, bro, it's until you own it, you don't, you won't know the vibe until you own some. Isn't it, isn't it crazy loving your collection? Like, don't get me wrong. Like I love my cards. I love my cards a lot. When you own artwork that's on the wall, like it's a different kind of love. It's a different because there's more into it than just a fucking machine printing it, cutting it, throwing it in a pack and pulling it out of a box. Yeah. Like the artist actually put time, like days of his life, like days he'll never get back yeah, into absolutely. creating these paintings. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the you know you don't know the, what what that artist is going through with their family maybe there's stressful you know times in their life they're going through shit you know they're, they're people as well they go through shit like everybody does absolutely and, and not knowing you know the mindset an artist was in when they're painting that like you like like it's different bro it's it's really different it sounds fucking weird to say it i'm sorry if i'm cursing i'm sorry if it's not allowed fucking you swear all you want big okay, man okay cool thing, all right bro. so Do your thing, bro. it's 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 different like yeah like there's an energy to the paintings right like energy was put in yeah to creating it right like from the beginning from the the thinking process of in your mind what do i want to do and then applying it digitally and then transfer it to canvas and to paint it and then to varnish it. And then it's just all the steps and time and effort and it's work, bro. Like, you know, there's been times where I'm talking to, you know, I've chatted with Eric through text and it's, it's nighttime and he, that boy's still painting. He's, yeah, he's grinding. Right. Artists are just incredible people as far as this, like, you know, this, this lifestyle of like half of them appear to be nocturnal and uh, just, you know, the, the it, it's, an, it's an amazing thing. I know that a lot of people out there, when things in their life are challenging, they find it very difficult to be productive 
And in an art space, those challenges, part, part of art is translating them into motivation. Yeah. and having that carry through in your work and it's amazing to get to see that um you know a lot of the a lot of the work that you see it's very obvious it doesn't come from a good place no one's like on a beach in mexico having the time of their life painting important artwork you know what i mean yeah and that's how it goes that's how it goes brother so yeah I mean, it's nice man it's it's a beautiful thing i enjoy it I'm gonna keep enjoying it. I think through your through everybody's every. I think everybody has a collector a, a collectible journey that we go on. We all we all start somewhere. And we always end somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh, and I feel like just the, the art is is kind of where my collection has matured towards. And just, you know, what I like and what I'm after and what I want to own and what I want to have for the future, you know, it, it's the artwork. It's very easy. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the cards, right? I still like to rip packs. I like to collect cards. I like to put sets together when, when, when it's sets that I enjoy. But you my main focus you, is the art. You you have definitely mentioned. Oh, look at that. Black cat. Look at you, bro. Look at you. Dude, this is look a, at this you. Is a, this is Look at you, bro. Are you sure those weren't on my blasters, dog? <laughs> right? The are you sure all the Moon Knights, through. all the Spider-Mans, all the Black Panthers? Oh, I hit a numbered Moon Knight in the last box, too. I'll show you afterwards. Oh, my That's God. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, and another one. Wow, these are actually... I only got one of these. Is yeah, that King two, Pride? Yeah, I got two of these out of four King Hobby Pride boxes. Colossus. Dude, I'm a huge fan of those of that type of style car, that insert, the foil yeah. version, like the rainbow version. Yeah. Bro, I got the freaking black suit Spidey 300 comic cover in foil. Thing is disgusting, bro. <laughs> disgusting, bro. I love it. Disgusting. Oh, I love it. It's nasty. It. It's ridiculous. You know, I, I've had a lot of fun opening Platinum. I will say this, I've had more fun uh, in the last little bit opening up these blasters than I did with the hobbies. And I had such a mission to get these. Oh, I already, this is a double. There we go. All right, man. Oh, a black. There's a black. Bro, you're just black. saying. That, dude, that's a box hit. Oh, and a domino. <laughs> what is going on Shout here? out to the homie Nathan, bro. Black rainbow. These are... Uh, Wow, one a box. A, that's a big card. I'm gonna put that away. Ooh, that's one a box, dog. That's wow. Um, and then the domino at a 199. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yo, 16 at a 199. <laughs> to finish with the miles. You know, I always I, I love the base on these two. You know what I mean? The, miles is uh, great. Really happy. I wish he had a low series. I and wish like he had the, a low series. Like there's too, certain original. characters that they kind of like effed up a little bit and didn't give them. Like I get it, but Miles should have had a low series. Gwen should have had a high series. Yeah, uh, I think there's some characters I got way too much love, bro. G give me an example. Who do you think there were too many of? Magneto. Oh, there were a lot of Magnetos. There's a lot of Magnetos. Um, <laughs> to be fair, there were a lot of Spider-Mans, but for me, I'm cool with a lot of Spider-Mans. There's three Spider-Mans in the set. Uh, Ooh, there's three the Moon Knights. There's what three Moon Knights. Was that a purple? Yeah, purple rainbow. Dude, we hit a bit of everything. There's three Moon Knights in this? Yeah, dude. The low series, the high series, and the creator variant. Wow, the creator variants are pretty awesome, man. I really like them. I've got so far. I've, I've been uh, the whole uh, map pulled me a purple, and um, the North of Seven Bray. I think they pulled me a blue. Nice. Um, I think that what you were saying about character breaks becoming the norm moving forward, uh, you're bang on. Um, people have given such a positive. Um, response to the character break it's gotten so many more people involved at an affordable level that like they're, they're here to stay for sure no question yeah. um i look forward to you doing one i really want to see you do one I will, i'm gonna do my best to try to do one man i think it's gonna be exciting yeah it's gonna absolutely. Be exciting. absolutely so that was uh what was that that was three blasters 
I want to say that the thing I got, I, I don't really do recaps on boxes very often, um, but like I got a, I got a, a healthy stack of base. I got all those inserts. Um, the, there's, there's no doubt. You got that twelve the, blue surges. Yeah, that's right. I got like there's no you got doubt three that numbered the blasters cards. are better. You got a black parallel. You got a purple parallel, which you only get one to two a box as well. And black rainbow, like the black rainbow. Pull it, I mean. It's funny, like Havoc's not a character I collect, but Havoc is it, Listen, it, it's not the character that you want for sure, but dog, you're pulling a, a box hit card. Yeah, out of a blaster. Out of a damn blaster. I want to yeah. say that this Domino, Domino is a character that I have been in love with since I was a little kid. The Domino Marvel Masterpiece cards in 92 by Jusko, like come on like who didn't like those you want to know what was my favorite domino card and i'm not a domino collector so um the domino from 94 flare okay the big gun yeah that's what's up love, that. love it that's my favorite set 94 flare and 94 masterpiece those are my top two sets it's like so growing up as a kid that. it's so growing funny up as a kid. Yeah. yeah i just like growing up as a kid for sure I just posted a reel a little while ago on Instagram of a frame I did of the 94 masterpiece set. And like the 94 masterpiece set is still super affordable. You can buy that entire base set for a hundred bucks. Um, and the artworks held the brand brothers. Like it's, it, it's and the hollow foils, the hollow foils, <laughs> the power blasts. So good. So much good shit. So I love so 94. Good. For those 94 of you who are... is good. 94 flare. 94 flares. Wait, 90, 90, 94 masks we didn't have power blast, did it? No. Um, no, I think did that they, uh, the width was a a saber, there's a saber, No, there's a saber tooth one. There, there's a power blast. And if you grade them backwards, they're in portrait Was it not? Because I know 94 flare has uh, power That's blast. It. I'm yeah, I don't think there. Masterpiece had power, but I think Masterpiece just had the hollow force. Yeah. Did you miss that? So 95 flare, that 95 flare had the power blast and it had the duo blast. I don't know if you remember That's those. Right. That's right. I got but you got like a double, yeah, the duo blast were the shit. A pain in the yeah. ass to grade. I don't think yeah. Masterpiece's 94 had a power blast, did uh, We're stretching yeah. the, uh, we're stretching it. I should have had some It's crazy, there. bro. I've got, I've opened like, eight boxes of the shit i've got like five empty boxes sitting around I'm trying to think i don't think so i think it was or maybe there was L lewis you know something if you if you get a chance and you want to show it i would love to see what you're working on painting wise right now yes so give me one i need to find i need to find this shit out though no i love i love it. 94 marvel masterpiece i sound like such i feel like such a rookie right now dude Bro, do you take your time? Take your time. Power blast. There is a We're power blast, ourselves. right? No, there. Is, wait. What is the power blast from? Because there's a bomb saber tooth card from it, and I know it's there is a power. There are power blasts. Yeah, yeah there are power blasts. What the fuck am I talking? I'm trying. I think I was going crazy. Yeah, there are power blasts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're on it. Yeah, there are. Cause yeah, for sure, there are. One thousand percent. I got confused. I got confused. Yeah. So 94 uh, Master P, 94 Flair had them as well. And then nice. 95, I think 95 had the Chromium cards too. 95 had the, oh yeah. Man, 90s inserts were 95, wild. dude, 95, every single pack had a hit. In a 95 <sighs> Flair box, you're either pulling a Power Blast, a Duo Blast, a Chromium card, yeah, it was it's pretty crazy. So you oh, said you wanted to see some work. All right, let me flip I, I my wanna, camera. I want to see some work. artwork from you. I want to see what's give going me, on. Give me one second. Let me just clear my, uh, clean my camera lens real quick. Take your time, my friend. Just putting away all these hits from this thing. So these are two blasters worth. Oh, they're losing already back. But this is two blasters worth. I mean, uh, sorry, two. Uh, what am I trying to say here? This is six blasters worth of cards that I'm going to be putting together. And that's a lot of base. Hope, hopefully, that gets me closer to finishing my base set. But here, oh yeah, let's make loose. Right, so this is an oil painting. This is an oil painting that I started working on. I've given it two rounds already. Wow. I, I literally started painting for the first time probably like eight months ago. Like I've never painted in my life before. I used to draw when I was a kid a lot. 
Uh, so I always had like talent, but like, like painting, it's pretty much just picked up the brush and just trying to figure shit out as I go. Your your concept the more of paint, light of light direction really works. You have a great concept of what direction you, the light is coming from. You really do. Thank you, brother. So this is one that I'm working on. Again, there's still a lot of work to be done, but it's coming along. And I'll show you a couple sketch card commissions. So some homies reached out to me to do some uh, sketch card commissions. Love it. And all my sketch card commit all come in oil paint. They're all oil paintings. So here's one that I'm working on for one of the homies. So he, homie asked for a oh, Namor. Wow. wow. Okay. So oil paint and Namor. So all I'm waiting for now is for it to fully dry. And then on the white spots of the orca and of the great white, I'm going to give it a green tint so it looks like they're underwater. But are I got to do are that you, after it's are dry. You add, I'm sorry to ask, but are you adding like a gamma salt to your oil paint for a drying additive to get it to go quicker? Uh, no. Uh, you mean, um, uh, um, what's that shit called? You mean linseed oil is normally what people No, linseed oil is the medium that I use, but um, what's the one that speeds up the pro? I forgot what Ga it's called. Gam Gam gamma salt. I think that's the that's the paint thinner. So yeah, well there's there's turpentine, there's paint, yeah, yeah. Paint thinner. Uh, then, so pretty much, I use linseed oil as my meat. I don't I don't use any anything to speed up the drying time because yeah. that shit that you use it's super fucking toxic, bro. It's crazy bad for you. It's super toxic, bro. Okay, I'll show you one more sketch card. Yes. So I t I really love doing the symbiotes and Spider Man and shit like that. It's what I'm probably the best at. Oh so there's God, a Venom so painted sketch that I'm working on for a homie. I got probably oh one more God. round of touch ups. Do a little bit of highlights on the teeth. A little bit oh, on the tongue. Amazing. Maybe do a little bit of drool and it's pretty that's much amazing. pretty much close to done. Yeah. I love it. How are you finding um, oil paint translating onto cardstock? I love oil oil painting bro like in the beginning i was kind of like fighting it because of the drying time but i've kind of like found my way around to just I, i've gotten so i've gotten good enough to where i can do a lot more with a painting in one session yes that makes sense it's a turning point in oil painting when you stop fighting the medium and start working with it yeah it, it just being able to um just being able to get a lot more done in one session. Yeah. Like before it would be like super basic layer than weight, but I didn't really need to do that. I just needed to learn how to, I needed to know how to be able to let the paint flow. If that makes sense. Like being no, able to, you. yeah. Like figure out how shit, bl how the paint blends, how much you can push it. Um, yeah. How much changing can you do to it before it fully dries? Before you apply another layer, um, I think that's the one thing that I've gotten better at. I feel like my anatomy and painting and my shadowing and lighting has gotten better. Your shadowing uh, and, again, and lighting it's just is the process. Yeah, like I said, I ha I've only been painting for like eight months, dude. Like literally, yeah. I, I didn't take any school, any classes for art. It's all just there's there's a misconception about talent and that's that all that talent is is a passion for practice and uh you know you you've got it you you have it. yeah yeah so i feel like i'm getting better with every piece so i'm just gonna keep just keep striving to get better man you know what i mean try yeah. to try to get a little bit better every piece that i do like i go I back it. and i look at some of the pieces that i started doing like five six months ago and to what I'm doing now, and it's to me, it's like night and day because I can see how much I've grown mm -hmm. as an artist. You know what I mean? As a painter. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like in within in a year, I'm gonna be even better than what I'm doing now, and, and sure. I'm, it's 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 gotten addicting for me. Like it's a real like addicting like side hobby for me. Like you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I love it. My side hobby is making YouTube videos, so I totally understand having a side hobby and collecting. Yeah, it's good, That's man. It's good. It, it allows you to focus on something else and take your mind off of a lot of shit. Are you finding so, yourself enjoying the final product or the process more? The, the process. Question. The process is always important. 
because without the process, there's not a finish. But I, I feel like I, I feel like uh, sometimes I catch myself kind of rushing in to finish something to just see how much better I've gotten on this piece than the previous one. Yeah, if that makes sense. So now no, it's kind of like I like that. Yeah, yeah, and, and now it's it's more of to to really take those steps forward you really got to put the time and effort into it and really try to try to take it to the next level you know what i mean like really try to push yourself Absolutely. and not cut corners that's mm -hmm. something that i've learned from Daniel santos when we you know he's he's helped me out giving me some pointers on some of my paintings and stuff like that it's been a big big help same with eric gis helped me out tremendously um Simone, shout out to Simone. He gave me some good tips at OAX. I brought some of my work with me. And, um, you know, just, just trying to get better, man. Trying to learn and, and figure things out and, and and not cutting corners, man. You know, when you it's, it's just hard, bro, because you kind of fall back into that, right? Like, like me, I hate, I hate doing reference. I hate shooting okay. reference. I, I, I hate, I like to just freehand sketch the shit and I'm at, and I'm actually getting to a point where I'm not even sketching the shit like when I'm doing a painting like this Venom painting I just showed you like I didn't I didn't pre-sketch it or anything I just grabbed the paint brushes and I just started painting it freehand you know going. yeah and I enjoy that and I enjoy that type of painting like it's I don't know I love that. No, I think that's a that's a great answer. I love talking to other painters about painting. It's a it's a musicians listen to music differently than anybody else, and painters experience painting different yeah. than people who just observe the paintings. So yeah, man, I'm having fun with it, bro. I'm just gonna try to keep getting better piece by piece, man. So that's people it. are loving it, man. I'm one of them. Everyone's loving the paintings. Please Thank keep you, bro. coming. Absolutely. Appreciate everybody's support, man. Really do. I think that this is a good spot to wrap this up, but we had a lot of fun here. That was amazing. Yeah, man. Appreciate we, the opportunity. All we pulled was uh, a Wolverine and Moon Knight. And, and Spider-Man's. Pulling all the black suit Spider-Man. <laughs> That's right, man. Well, everybody here, I'm going to make myself big for a sec here. Yeah. I want to thank everybody who tuned in to watch this. Those were some really fun blaster boxes. My first chance to get to rip them open. Lewis joined us and was nonstop entertainment. Thank you so much for being here, Lewis. Pleasure, bro. And uh, you know, I can't wait to do more videos with you guys. We'll we'll do this again in the future. Make sure you check Lewis's page out. If you don't know, he has his normal Instagram, but he also has one for his paintings. So, Lewis, what's it called? It's Lewis's art. Shit, what is it? Um, Alonzo, Alonzo art. artwork. Alonzo, let me see. I forgot what the hell it was. That's I'm, I'm going to drop it in the description. I'm going to drop it in the description yeah, below. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. I believe it's Alonzo Artworks. I believe it's Alonzo Artworks. I'm, I'm going to put it down there and you guys got to check it out. Make sure you're following Beautiful. along on that. There's some great stuff on there. Amazing stuff. And, Thank uh, you, man. On, Appreciate you, brother. On that, we'll, uh, we'll sign out. So thanks a lot, everybody. See you again soon. Peace.